Hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Tiffany, and I'm introducing my mentee, Sophie. Um, well, for a little bit of background for her, she'll, her favorite subject is English. And not only does she play both tennis and basketball, but she has been baking and making some delicious sounding things that I've been super jealous to hear about every week. Like she's like, okay, put some Oreos in milk, microwave it, and you will get delicious cake. Um, so that it makes sense that her favorite show is Great British Baking Show. Uh, when we were coming, work, working together to uh, talk about like what she wanted to make, she had had some background in JavaScript, uh, and then it was clear that she wanted to build a web website. And so as we were brainstorming some ideas, she uh, she was really attracted to the idea of, of making a website to help younger students with math. So she'll talk a little bit about how she, like her project of visualizing math equations by transforming them into word problems. Um, it's been a real delight to work with Sophie throughout this program and watch her grow her skills. So um, here she is. Hi, my name is Sophie. I'm in sixth grader at Casti. Um, my mentor is Tiffany. She works, sorry, she works at Google as a software engineer and she lives in San Francisco and she likes to travel, play music and play ultimate frisbee. My project is a website and um, I wanted to help younger kids learn math in an easier format instead of just having numbers by putting it into a word problem and to help them visualize it more and help them make more sense of it. And um, over the course of these few months, I've learned HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and a little bit of PHP. Um, I've worked on the layout and the design of my website. Um, that includes the home page, the input pages where you can put in your numbers, and visualization pages, um, especially randomizing uh, different the different names. Um, highlights for me were probably coming up with the design of my website, um, understanding HTML, and discovering credible websites for learning HTML and CSS. That was really important. Um, working on randomizing names, as I mentioned earlier, was really fun. Um, and obviously I enjoyed working with my mentor. Um, lessons that I learned were how much effort it is, uh, like that is put into even creating a simple web page and how to make text boxes so that you can put input numbers into it. Um, challenge for me was understanding HTML and all of the code for it because there is a lot to understand and um, how it relates to CSS and JavaScript. Um, so this is a screenshot of my home page. It's um, the four buttons with the different operations, addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. And if you click on one of the buttons, they'll take you to specifically to um, the um, operations page where you can in input your numbers and they will um, add them together or whichever operation you, you chose to use. Um, these are the input pages and you can put in numbers and if you click the submit button, it will take you to the next page um, where you get the answer along with a word problem and a visualized um, image. So these are the answer pages. Here we have multiplication and subtraction. I just wanted to show the different ways to visualize, for example, um, for uh, when we made the marble image, we wanted to make it into like a chart format almost to show actually how it would um, it would uh, multiply into 35 by making a five by seven chart. And with the subtraction, the light blue marbles represent what is like what is left out of the whole thing. And so the answer pages, they have a word problem with the numbers the user inputted with the random names and it shows a picture and the expression with the answer. So here's the home page, and this is an example of what the user and they input their different numbers in. So for example, 10 and 5, and they get their word problem, the picture of the marbles, and the operation. And that's my website. Thank you.